Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we know the causes of air pollution and also its harmful effects, we should definitely try to do or try to take some steps to control air pollution. So let's see what can we do to control air pollution. First of all, filtration of industrial pollutants before being released to the atmosphere. Now, because as we see that the emission from the industries and factories are a major cause of polluting the air. So therefore, even before the pollutants or the harmful substances get released from the industries, we can filtrate them so that the impurities are removed by means of some fine physical barrier. For example, fine mesh-like structures can be, uh, you know, kind of incorporated within the industries. And these fine mesh-like structures must be replaced or cleaned periodically so that, you know, they can properly filter out or they can properly stop the harmful substances from getting released. So these we can also use a candle type ceramic filter because the small pore size of ceramic material filters dirt, debris, bacteria etc really well. So appropriate filtration of the pollutants is a must in industries and factories. Maintenance of automobiles to reduce pollutants emissions. So when you talk about the automobiles, so the gases that get emitted from these automobiles. So if we get our automobiles maintained properly, like uh, uh, proper cleaning or proper sort of maintenance, then it will reduce the amount of pollutants that get released from the vehicle. Maintaining cleanliness. So if we keep our surroundings clean, that will help us to reduce the amount of dust and dirt that is present everywhere. Say no to crackers. So that's very important because when we burn crackers, even though we do not burn crackers every day, but even during the festive season, for example, in India, we celebrate Diwali with by burning a lot of crackers. So when you burn so much of crackers, even in that one, even in those one or two days, you end up polluting the environment so much that sometimes it becomes really difficult to even breathe. Noise reduction, so unnecessary honking of vehicles or um, playing loudspeakers or mics at extremely high volumes should definitely be avoided because too much of noise can also adversely affect the health of animals. Proper disposal of wastes, that's very important. So let's avoid burning unnecessarily because we often see that a lot of people what they do is whatever waste materials is that comes out of their house or from their neighborhood they collect all of them and then burn them just because they do not need that but when you burn what happens a lot of harmful gases get released into the atmosphere and which in turn pollutes the atmosphere so let's avoid burning instead use the wastes to prepare manure for example the organic wastes like the vegetable wastes or most of the wastes that come out of your kitchen they can be used to prepare manure which in turn will help the, in better growth and better development of plants. So we should try to segregate the wastes properly, maybe the organic wastes or uh, like the bi biodegradable wastes on one side, which can be recycled and then reused, the non-biodegradable ones on the other sides, and they should be disposed of at the right places. Alternative sources of energy besides fossil fuels. Now fossil fuels are extremely um, wonderful things because they act as an extremely good source of energy but at the same time burning fossil fuels release a lot of poisonous substances like oxides of nitrogen some harmful gases so therefore we need to keep a balance that we do not end up using too much of fossil fuels so alternative sources can be solar energy wind energy water energy because these energies they do not you know kind of pollute the environment so wherever possible we should make use of these alternate sources of energy so that you know we can strike a balance between a usage of fossil fuels for energy and uh, the betterment of the environment Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.